All righty now. Hello, GTA and Dave and all. We've got our... Hey, we got uh, what I can only assume to be our reshaped and modified Marauder stock here from Dave, Nail Gun. So we're going to do a little unboxing here and let you guys see it just as the same as I get to see it. I have not received pictures from him as far as what the final products look like. What you've seen posted on the uh, on the thread is is as much as I know myself. So you guys are getting to see this in the same flavor that I am. We are out here in what in my little camper that I affectionately call the shooting shack. So pardon the mess, but yeah, this is this is the man cave. So anyway, here we go. Here we go. What are we gonna see? Oh, he sent us a bunch of paper. Oh, let's see. I have no idea what the finish on this is, guys. So he wouldn't tell me that way. I don't even know what the final shape on it is. Oh, and he's still making it a secret. It's all wrapped in plastic. Look, it's a plastic gun. Yay! All right, let's see what he has done here. Right. Package that. Get this over here. Throw this out of the way. I see dark. I see... What is this? This is probably the stud, the sling studs. I think, I think, I think. One wrapped inside the other. I use that slice of my finger apart. got to be for the uh, for the cheek riser okay fair enough so let's see what did we get here yep, he didn't do the the uh, hook he was kind of back and forth on whether he was going to be able to do the hook with the cheek riser or not he decided not. It's fine. This is all, all up to him on what did he want to do. Is it brown? Is it black? I can't even tell you. I think it's black. Texture coat. Um, I don't think that's is that truck bed liner. I don't think. I think it's some sort of a spatter texture coat. Feels. You hear that? It's black or really, really, really dark gray. Looks nice. Looks like it's bedded here to some degree. Yeah. Wow, real nice fit on the uh, on the cheek riser here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see see the angles here. Interesting. 
How does that feel? Oh my. That feels good. That feels really good. Oh, we like that. So, he's obviously he's done this angle. Originally, it's the other way on the Marauder for the lower part of the forestock. And then he's done this upper relief cut, which I'm sure will look very, very dressy. Change the angle here. Obviously, you guys can see that. That rather than the relative angle being this way, now we're here. So he glassed in a little here. Um, reduced the uh, Monte Carlo cheek here. And then over here is where it really starts to get the important stuff. And see we had to glass in a little here to re reestablish some of the strength because he's taken off so much here. Totally understandable. Agreed. That's the way that should be done. Has this sanded out, shaped out, divoted out, whatever you want to call it, to give you a good rest uh, here for the butt part of your hand. So I'm not looking through the camera right now, so you know, looks like that fits in there. So hands here. Nice. Nice feel. Very nice feel. I like that a lot. And then, of course, we've got the adjustable cheek riser. Those have to come completely out. How do you... I don't think these have to come completely out, do they? I wouldn't think so. These have to come completely out to get it to rise. We shall see. It just might be just a real tight fit. Ah, yes, holes do go all the way through. Holes do go all the way through, so they do have to be removed to get it to a rise. We've got, looks like that would be the tallest position. And that would be a medium position. And then all the way down. So we'll just try it at medium right now since we don't even have the action here. I'll have to uh, come back and do a, another video in a few minutes after I get the action taken out of the factory stock. But this is a reshaped factory Benjamin Marauder stock by Dave Edson. It was by Nail Gun on the forums, is what you guys would know him as. This is his first attempt at modifying the Marauder factory stock into something that's a little more ergonomic, a little more comfortable and user friendly. So it looks like he's done a beautiful job right here so far. And, uh,. Let's go get the uh, let's go get the rest of the rifle and put it together and see what you, see what it looks like. Huh? But so far, I'm seeing a big thumbs up here. Looks very nice, very very nice. I'm I'm quite impressed. So that's it for now. Bye bye. Let me turn this camera off, and we'll get another one going in a few. Bye.